200, 100, 5, If I'm hitting it, but man, it sounds like it's a lot of fun. 100. And that's it. All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting on the review table, and it is optics week. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yesterday, we did a really cool ACOG. Today, we're going to be doing this guy right here. This is the primary arms. This is their SLX Gen 3 5 times prism scope. I love these things, and I'll tell you the reason why. is because you see this guy right here? We were talking about this yesterday. This is an ACOG, and this has the exact same reticle as this guy right here, except this <laughs> runs you about $1,200, where this guy is 300 and change. And I'm going to put the link on my website, kb32tech.com, with this review on it. And if you're interested in buying this thing, get on over there and take a look at it. Let's go through the details. First of all, let's talk about this guy right here, the Aurora reticle. Now, I took this particular firearm, this guy right here, because the ammo is not exactly cheap, I'll put you a little excerpt going into showing you how well this thing works right here. Check it out. There we go. All right, 500, the big absolute target up there. Let's go back to that 300 Ipsic. All right, so that's it. And I will tell you this, man, this thing is balls on out to 600. Let's go back to that 300. Two hundred, one hundred, five, I don't know if I'm hitting it, but man, it sounds like it's a lot of fun. One hundred. That's it. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let's go ahead and bring the camera in, and we're going to be talking about this radical just on the box. It's very simple, very easy. We've got ranging brackets over here. All you got to do is a 5'10 guy, if he's going to be standing right here to here, that is a 400 yards, 500 yards, 600 yards. This particular one is in green and red. It's a dual radical uh, ranging brackets right here. These little lines indicate 18 inches across the shoulders, Dude, this thing is absolutely incredible. And like you can take these things out with an uh, Ipsic target and range them absolutely perfect. Uh, talk about this. Vertical auto ranging ladder, dual red and green chevron, moving target leads. And that's what these are right here. Right here. These right here. Those are five mile an hour lead points. Then you have the wind holds, which are these little boogers right here. Five and ten mile an hour winds and bullet drop compensation. Now, I took this out with a 62 grain and it ran it like a charm. Absolutely love what we were able to do with this guy. All right, let's talk about some of the details. We'll get into the box. Objective lens diameter is 36 millimeter. Total length is 5.81 inches, 18.4 ounces, <laughs> 35 MOA of adjustment uh, in windage in both elevation, and you got a lot of eye relief. The coolest part about uh, this thing is it does have an adjustable ocular so I'm able to detail it to my eye, which is not you're not able to do with the uh, ACOG. Uh, features when you need a lightweight scope that can do it all. Our compact prism scopes are an ideal solution. A selection of updated ACSS reticle options are calibrated to work with your rifle. Again, this thing works perfect with a 62 uh, grain bullet. All right, what else we got here? That's it. Beautiful all the way around. Let's get into the nuts and bolts. All right, so in the box, you're going to go ahead and you got the reticle manual. You're going to need this to set it up, and then you've got this other manual. Let's back this thing up a little bit so we're not so close. 
All right, you're going to come in just like this. The bad boy is going to be sealed up. What do I got right there? Oh, Loctite screws. Outstanding. It comes just like this. Now, what I want to show you, because we're going to mount it to this upper right here, is in comparison with the ACOG, which is a four power, you see we're a little bit bigger, but again, what you've got is a prism scope where you have an adjustable ocular, which is what I like the most about it. Okay, so what else have we got into the box here? This is another thing that I absolutely love to use torque screws as opposed to thumb turn knobs. These are nice. Now, one of the things that I want you to be careful of, if you do buy one of these, is, hold on one second, these screws will come all the way out. And I have actually dropped a couple of these on the floor. So it's important to go ahead and make sure you got that right. Now, you can take this riser portion out if you want to make it short or taller. Here are some screws. Here are some uh, Allen wrench screws to go ahead and make that happen. Uh, it does come with dust cover front and back, which are really nice. I go ahead and just remove these, and then we go here. Let's talk about this bad boy real quickly. Uh, it does come with a zero two three or a it does come with a 23032 battery. And yeah, there we go. We can go ahead and turn it on. I don't know if you guys will be able to see the Chevron in there. But it is perfect. This is the best one probably for a, a fixed level optic like a 4 or a 3. And I do have this in a 3. It is the best reticle for any type of 16 inch reticle barrel that I've ever seen. I absolutely love this thing. And like I said, it does come with an adjustable ocular. Very important right there because I can adjust it to my eye specifically. I'm not going to undo that because honestly I can't get it undone. <laughs> it's really tight. But it does come with uh, five levels of brightness in both green and red, which is really, really nice. Uh, the reticle is etched in, so you don't have to worry about it if you lose battery power. I'm not sure what the battery length is if you leave this thing on. I'm sure we could find that out somewhere. Not really a big in, big deal for me right now. Um, the adjustments on this thing, you do have to have a screwdriver or some type of leading edge right here. All right, so we got a little flat edge right here. Let's go ahead and listen to those tactile clicks. that up to the microphone there you go the adjustments are half MOA at 100 yards you do have it threaded right here so if you wanted to do a flash kill on it you could uh, nice thing is is you have a pick rail already built into the top so if you wanted to mount an RMR or a, some other type of uh, reflex site up there you can we've already gone over the weight and pretty much that's it uh, it's sealed nitrogen purged all the cool stuff on it serial number each one has a different serial number, I believe. Anyway, that's it. This is a great option to the ACOG if you don't want to spend 1200 bucks. So anyway, I'm going to put the link on my website. If you guys get on over there and take a look at it and use that, I'd appreciate it. But man, I can't wait to take this out and shoot. With that being said, guys, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom's not free. Oh, yeah. This thing's nice. Y'all be good.